So it looks like the DCEU might have yet again another top tier director joining their universe. Hello everybody, I'm Robert Storms. Welcome back to the channel once again. If I sound like crap, that's because I am losing my voice, yet I am dedicated. If you're finding my channel for the very first time, be sure to click that subscribe button. I want to take this time to thank each and every one of you guys for helping me get over that milestone of 14,000 subscribers. This coming Wednesday will be my 14,000 subscriber live Q&A, where I'll be giving away a free digital copy of Black Panther. Also later on this week, I'm giving away a free physical copy of Black Panther on Blu-ray. More details on that later on, but you must be a subscriber. So that is correct, guys. The rumors going around right now is Peter Jackson has a choice of either going to Amazon and directing and producing the Lord of the Rings series for Amazon or doing a superhero film for the DCEU. A lot of people would love to see Peter Jackson in the DCEU, but this is the problem I have with that because it seems like to me that Warner Brothers is really going out to try to get all this big name talent for directors, but nothing ever comes of it. We got Matt Reeves, Ava DuVernay, Steven Spielberg, Peter Jackson, but nobody has any movies coming out anytime soon. Batman with Matt Reeves was announced many, many, many months ago. We still don't have even a script done for that movie. Ava DuVernay, The New God, what's going on with that? Why The New God? Why Ava DuVernay? Then they have Steven Spielberg coming in, let him do a Black Hawk movie, and then we got Peter Jackson coming in. To me, it feels like Warner Brothers is more concerned about bringing in big name directing talent rather than focus on their universe. Instead of focusing on their universe and mapping that out first and then getting the right directors for the job, they're letting all these big names come in and just do whatever the hell they want. Like Steven Spielberg, you want to do Black Hawk? Go ahead and do Black Hawk because you're Steven Spielberg. We'll let you do whatever you want. Oh, Peter Jackson, you want to do a medieval Batman movie with Elijah Wood as Bruce Wayne? Hell yeah, that sounds great. We can do that. Oh, Margot Robbie, you want to produce a rated R Birds of Prey? Okay, rated R Batgirl. There we go. It honestly really concerns me at this point as a fan of the DC properties. Believe it or not, guys, I am a fan of the DC properties to see the characters be so misused. It's really appalling as a comic book fan. I want to see good movies. The actors want to do good movies. We know that Henry Cavill wants to renegotiate his contract so he can come in and do Superman right. I actually have more faith in the Shazam movie other than any other movie that they got coming out. I mean, come on. What's even going on with the Flash movie? There were so many directors attached and bailing and attached and bailing on this Flash movie. We haven't even heard no news about this movie in the past three to four months. It's like they completely gave up on the Flash movie, and that is a movie that they should be getting off the ground. That is the biggest problem with Warner Brothers and why they keep shooting themselves in the foot is because the movie they should be developing, they're not developing. That is the problem. I like Peter Jackson as a director. I really do. I like his King Kong film. I think it was a little long, but I like his King Kong film. I like his vision. I like how he pushes the boundary of technology, and I would love to see a DCEU film directed by Peter Jackson, but I don't want to see like a fucking Dr. Fate movie. I don't want to see some ass in character who should be developed years down the line. I want to see a more central character. Peter Jackson doing a Flash movie with that special effects and the way he is with special effects could be really something special. Seeing Peter Jackson direct a character in this universe is a good thing and I'm happy they, they have a chance to get Peter Jackson. The problem I have is don't let them just do whatever they want because they have big names. The reason why Kevin Feige works so well over the MCU is because Kevin Feige develops these stories and these characters and then he hires directors for those stories. He hires directors to suit the story rather than the director just pick a story that suits them. That's the problem. Kevin Feige always puts the story First, if the director is not working out, like Edgar Wright, then he's like, I'm sorry, this is not working out, this is our vision. And that is the difference between a successful franchise and a non-successful franchise. Because you have to be able to get the right staffing in there for your vision. You just can't have directors coming in and saying, oh, this is what we want to do. Oh, Martin Scorsese wants to do a Joker movie? Oh, well, that's fantastic because you're Martin Scorsese. That's not how it should work. 
And until Warner Brothers realizes that and get the right people in the leadership roles over at Warner Brothers, we are not going to get the DCEU that we all as DC fans deserve. But that's just my thoughts on it, guys. I wonder what you guys think. Be sure to leave your comments in the comment box below. Once again, if you're finding my channel for the very first time, be sure to click that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, as always, I'm Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.